Hi there, it is Sonia Boko. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with balloon artists how to make beautiful balloon art. In today's video, I am going to share with you something that was inspired by my dress that you see me wearing today. This beautiful strawberry fields forever kind of vibe that it's got going on and it has pockets. <laughs> I know, pretty amazing, right? So to help set the mood, I've also gone ahead to put my little lacy parasol up there in the background. I hope you like it as much as I do. I actually used it for my wedding back in 2012. Yeah, it's been that long, yeah. <sighs> the poor thing stays mostly in its cover, so I really wanted to bring something extra fun into this video, and there we have it. But let's look at how we make this beautiful strawberry balloon. We are going to use a six inch heart, and this is the rose color from Qualitex because I don't have any red or wild berry to hand, but those would be perfect colors as well. And I also have a 160 in the dark green, and I've got this little scrap that I made from a 260 balloon. And that's just basically being knotted three times with the excess removed. And that was a broken balloon that I had lying around, so that is a great way to make use. These days, I don't often use a lot of raisins, but I think for something like this, it's just perfect. And you can get multiple balloon raisins out of a 260, as you can imagine. To start the design, we are going to just pop that raisin inside the nozzle of that six inch heart. And in you go. This is going to be an anchor point that we're going to use when we are attaching the greenery to the top. Now this is where the legenda is perfect for this next step because as I inflate my heart, what I'm going to do is encourage the air to fill more into one lobe than the other. Let me show you what I mean. So popping that on and as I'm inflating, I'm just directing the air more up into this upper lobe. <laughs> So I've got a bit more of a pronounced end and there's a little bit more slack in this area. Now I am going to tie that off and before I go ahead to do the next part to the heart, I want to inflate my 160. When inflating your 160, you just need a decent bit of length and when I say decent, uh, you want to be able to make the stem as well as a couple of petals, as well as a couple of leaves to help decorate. Now, if you're not feeling too confident on this next step, which is a deep tulip twist, you do not have to do it, but I think it looks nice. If you choose not to do so, I would just pull this nice and secure and snip that end nice and close. Just gonna take one finger and insert into that 160, about as far as my knuckle. I'm just grasping the knot inside. Helping to roll the balloon off my finger. And twist. So it's just giving a little bit of character to the stem. However, if you were to have trimmed off the end of the nozzle at that first step, it would still look pretty cute too. Or even be a rebel and leave it there. <laughs> Why not? But now, the situation we have here, the knot is sitting on this side of my twist. I want it to stay there. Oh! I don't want that to happen. Now, if you're like me, now you've lost your nozzle, I am going to just tie a few times because I actually don't have too many 160s, but we can save this. So my best tip here is to have some sort of substance to the end of the balloon where you don't have the pleasure of having the end of the nozzle still because that will help give you something to grip onto inside the balloon and because we need to capture that within our twist by having something at this end instead of relying on the knots that we have here, it's going to really help you to keep a longer length to your stem. So same method as before. Being careful not to compromise my balloon too much and you can try and even feed you can't really see it as well as I can but I can see through that balloon and I can see where my knot is and I'm going to pass that just a little bit further down so give it a few good twists so that we don't have that same misfortune occur again 
But now I'm going to just do a basic leaf twist. And within those twists, I've just captured that knotted end. So this is approximately a petal twist, which is two fingers wide. And we're going to replicate that two more times. We've prepped our stem and we've prepped our love heart balloon. Let's turn it into a strawberry. Now, to do this next step, what I'm going to do is locate where that balloon raisin is. I'm going to capture the raisin and I'm capturing it at a point not here in this lobe, but somewhere in between there and the nozzle end, but trying to maintain a little bit of that curb here still. I'm going to twist that off and I'm holding that raisin balloon in there as firmly as I can before taking the nozzle end and pulling and twisting and wrapping. <laughs> now that's not going to secure it for too long. To help encourage it to stay we can take the step of feeding the nozzle under that bit of latex but the sooner we can introduce the top of the strawberry, the better to keep it in. So for this next part, I'm gonna be taking this point just where the remainder of the 160 is coming out of my twisted leaves, and I am going to be using it to wrap around, particularly the raisin that I have here, but also wanting to capture in the end of the nozzle. Now I've just wrapped that round the strawberry balloon a couple of times and I'm going to now take the remainder of the 160 balloon and I'm going to bring it up and around one of those leaves even another of those leaves before I go ahead to remove my excess just going to tie that off so I am just covering that bit of latex as much as I can with my leaves and just playing around with the stem of my strawberry a little bit. I think it has a cute little effect to it. So what I think is really lovely about using Love Hearts in this way to create a strawberry is I think it really beautifully mimics the shaping of a real strawberry which tends to have a little bit of a dip out to the side. Um, in fact, let's see. I feel like this strawberry here on my dress illustrates that beautifully. <laughs> so there we have our very cute strawberry balloon and it was quite quick and easy. So I say quick and easy, but <laughs> if you're new to using raisins inside balloons, it might be a little bit more of a struggle for you, but it is totally worth it for the versatility that it can bring. So I would encourage practicing of that kind of technique. And if that's something that you haven't tried already, I would suggest you check it out. So I'm gonna link it up there for you. Now the final, finishing touches you can add some seeds onto that strawberry so to do the artwork I would suggest instead of reaching for your white paint marker you could go ahead to use yellow now this pen is one that I've recently started using which is a Rokugi pen it is not the best on colored balloons I find it loses its beautiful saturation of color however here with the strawberry balloon I'm happy to go with a more subtle look to it you could go ahead to reach for a white paint marker as well, but I think yellow mimics the natural beauty of the strawberry a little bit closer. Because realistically, they aren't white seeds, are they? So now I'm gonna go in with that marker to draw in those seeds, and they're upside down teardrops. <laughs> I think you can see that on there. So it is a very subtle look. Like I said, the Rakugi pens, they can give a beautiful saturation of color. If you haven't seen my Ursula balloon, I did use them on there. However, certain colors don't work as well on the colored latex. If this was part of a larger sculpture and you're really investing some time into it, you could go ahead to do them in white, um, especially like I might use my Posca paint and then go over to color it in yellow with Sharpies because I think it'll give it far more vibrance. <laughs> in saying that, I don't think strawberries are renowned for their bright yellow seeds, so. 
that's why I'm kind of digging that more subtle yellow vibe that it is being given by using the Rokugi pen. A bonus with these as well is I think their drying time is pretty quick but regardless I'm not going to go ahead to let that touch my dress until it would be dry. It doesn't really make sense. Oh, I was just worried for my dress in. But you can see how they're already dry and I'm touching it to my dress and I don't even care. <laughs> okay, no, my dress is fine. Thank goodness. I love this dress. But yeah, so that is how you make the strawberry. Quick and easy and I hope you love it. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and why not subscribe? Let me help put a positive twist in your life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. If you're new here, my name is Sonia Boko and I share with balloon artists how to make beautiful balloon art. This is approximately a petal piece. Petal. <laughs> That'll stay in the bloopers. Now I'm just going ahead to position my leaves to try and uncover as much of that latex. Come on, Sikasa.